Hi, this is Jenny Liu, and we're going to go over Warrior 2 pose in this video, which is a foundational pose. Um, from there, we can move on to different poses. I am going to give you a few options, making sure you're set up correctly in this pose that is so good for strengthening our body, lower body, upper body, lengthening the spine, and it also has hip opening and chest opening uh, benefits too. Okay, so from here, we're going to be mirror images of each other in this video. You're going to step your feet wide, at least double hip width apart, um, maybe even a little bit wider. So just put your hands on the hip joints, roll the shoulders up and back. Remember now your spine is going to be perpendicular to the floor. And then your legs are straight for now and just a little bit of shaking. Yeah, so shake the hips out side to side. And we're going to take care of the knee alignments, making sure everything's okay for your knees. So for the first side, you're going to pivot on the heel for your left foot first. So slowly pivot. Now, if you have some trouble with balancing, your option is for one to practice by the wall and just leave a little space, maybe have a little block on the side and later you can put it next to the knee. Um, the other option is that if you tend to wobble a little bit, you can move your supporting leg. So that foot comes in a little bit to keep this knee aligned. Then you move your left foot, okay? So this one is a more stable one. You can move this one first and then the second side, knee facing forward and then your toes facing forward. So once you're here, roll the shoulders up and back. We can put the hands on the hips first. Just to check, make sure your pelvis is facing forward, shoulders aligned over the hip joints and then relaxing here, take a breath into your lower abdomen. And when you exhale, slowly bending that front knee. So we're gonna stay here first, not going into the full pose. So as you bend that front knee, keeping the upper body straight, and then slowly just take a peek over that front knee. So check to make sure you can see your big toe passing the front knee because oftentimes we tend to collapse this knee when the adductors, the inner thigh is a little weak, we tend to go this way or if the hips are really tight. So try to make sure that stays straight. And if you have enough flexibility, move the back leg away. So you go into a nice 90 degree angle for that front knee. And if that's too much, just go back up. And then for those of you at the wall, you can put the block to the outside of your knee. That'll help you to keep the knee alignment too. Okay, so once you feel pretty good, cross your arms, open the chest, stretch your arms out, roll the shoulders up and back. So shoulders away from the ears. And now if you feel pre pretty good, inhale to your lower abdomen. When you exhale, keeping your chin about parallel to the floor and slowly rotate your neck, looking over your left hand, over the fingertips. So warrior two. You can hold here, maybe even sinking a little bit lower. Shoulders away from the ears, making sure you're not leaning your body forward, keeping both sides extended. And slowly, when you're ready, gently turning your head facing forward and you can let your legs stay straight first, putting the hands down, hands on the hips again, now pivoting the feet so they're back in line again. So a little bit of wiggling in the hips, shaking out. And if you feel like you're a little too far away, come on back up, shake out the hips. And we're gonna go to the other side. So we'll go a little different sequence. So from here, you can widen the feet a little bit, open the shoulders, and now you know the basics. Spine upright. Open the foot on, the, on your right side, and then pick up the ball of your foot. So right now, you're gonna check the alignment, which we didn't do before. Heel to the back arch. You feel a little bit more stable that way. Okay, from here, when you're ready, you know you're gonna bend your knee. We can go straight with the whole pose with the arms, okay? Take a breath in, open the chest. When you exhale, you're going to slowly bend that front knee. Just take a peek again. Make sure you can see your big toe over that front knee. If you're not open wide enough for the hip joints, walk the back foot away, get into a nice 
open position. Yeah, so shoulders relaxed. For those of you with shoulder injuries, you can keep the palms facing up to reduce a little bit of tension. If that's still a little too much, just keeping the hands here, that's okay, all right? So picking the option that works for you, chest open, and then your neck straight. Slowly inhale. When you exhale, gently tilting your chin over your right shoulder, looking over the right hand, gazing past your fingers, staying strong and centered, expanding chest, lengthening the spine, grounding, centering through the lower body. And slowly when you're ready, press your legs, you can turn your head facing forward, slowly turn your feet, pivoting, and then taking your time. You can move your feet in a little bit, gently shake out, side to side, and then stepping yourself back to the center, and then shaking out your legs. So from that posture, we can go into different uh, versions for this expansive pose. So things like Peaceful Warrior, we can go to extend the side angle. So keep practicing. If you need, again, in the beginning, practice against the wall to feel the uh, grounding, centering, and then that support, okay? All right, so make sure to check out other uh, videos on this channel, the last one for hamstring, hamstrings. So if you feel a little tight, check out that video and also the playlist for the yoga um, videos. All right, I will see you in the next video.